All right, Dojo Nation, here's one you're going to love. So have you ever been working on your computer and you wish you had two monitors? You, you know how the real high-level nerds do it, where they've got one here and one over here and they look real professional? Um, there's a much simpler way to do this. I want to show you something on my screen. If we look up here, can you see these two little, there are two little pictures side by side. This program is called Duelist. See below there it says D-U-A-L-L. -L. Well, let me bring it back up. E-S-S. -S. Watch what happens when I clicked it. Well, let me show you what happens before. Let's say that I was trying to learn to record on my screen, and I'm going to this tab, then back to this tab, then back to this tab. Watch the magic. You're going to love this one. Duelist, you download it, it's a Chrome extension, it's real easy to do. And now I click the button and I decide how I want to split my screen. I'm just going to go 50 50. Click, pow! How about that? Huh? So now I've got one monitor here, I've got one monitor here, and I can go back and forth. I use this a lot when I'm trying to learn something on YouTube, but I want to make it work, uh, you know, like with Canva, if you're doing any graphic work and you're trying to learn. This is a fantastic program. So it's Duelist. Um, yeah, I can click this, pop up my big screen here, click it back, bring this one back over, back up here if I want to, and back. Um, it's a raucous good time, had by all. Once again, it's Duelist, and it's making my life a lot easier. Hope you enjoy it. Well, good morning, Dojo Nation. How are we doing? Randy Reed here for Coffee with a Karate Guy and a Tip. Listen, um, things were better last week than they were the week before. People are getting open back up. It's getting exciting. Um, some of our uh, martial arts um, brothers and sisters aren't able to open yet. I know the East Coast is still pretty hard, and I think even Illinois, or as we say from Wisconsin, Illinois, um, they're still having some trouble getting open down there, but we're going in the right direction. Uh, people are getting back into the schools, and, and as I said before, I think we're going to get back pretty quick. So one thing that um, I'd like to weigh in on today, if I could take a little bit of your time, is our kind of our national um, discussion recently over race relations. Um, as a 65-year-old man, the year I was born, 1954, was the year they struck down the Jim Crow laws, um, making segregation in our school system uh, illegal. Ten years later, when I was 10 years old, they passed the Civil Rights Act. That's just in the first part of my lifetime. I'm not very proud of our country on that issue. It shouldn't have taken that long. We've got a, we've got a, kind of an original sin and uh, we're dealing with it to this day. So although I'm not proud of some of the things, what I am really, really proud of is the way this is handled in our martial arts schools. Um, I've been on the martial arts floor my, uh, my adult life, most of my life, 80% of my life, I guess I've, I've been on a martial arts floor. Um, and it's, I grew up in Lily White, Iowa. I moved to California to live in a completely segregated town. I was there for the Watts riots. I slept in my stepfather's uh, furniture store with a rifle when I was 14, hope, uh, hoping that the riots didn't make to uh, um, our place. I didn't have a, a friend of color until I was probably 20 years old, no, 18 years old when I started martial arts. And through martial arts, through competition, through the training, the that was my education into diversity and the interesting part it became the education for a lot of members of my family 
and it was a, a interesting journey. And I'm not going to get into the old saying of how what the diversity of my friends, they all know me. They know uh, we know each other. Let's put it that way. And the martial arts school has always been a great place for crushing those type of uh, stereotypes, uh, racism, prejudice, whatever you want to call it. I noticed over the years, I've been hit in the mouth by a lot of different races of people. And frankly, they all hurt. So if nothing else, that'll bring you around to the fact that uh, e there is equality, especially in the with a punch in the mouth or a kick in the head. And as martial artist, I, I, I found one day, it, I, I forget exactly what had been I was reading or something and I looked at a picture of a bunch of us karate people together and I noticed the diversity and I had never noticed it before. I, I, I just never thought about it. It, it, it. it never entered my mind. Oops, kick the table here. It never entered my mind that how diverse we were because it didn't matter, damn it. it uh, we were martial artists. We worked together, we trained together. In those days, we punched each other in the mouth together. We bled together. Um, and it was we were as close as a band of brothers can be, and we still are. When I look at uh, some of the schools that I'm working with, um, the way that they interact and the, the tremendous um, camaraderie and mutual respect that is taught and delivered in the martial arts schools, I'm just proud of all of us for doing our part. And maybe if uh, more people got involved in martial arts, we'd have a little less trouble out there. Randy Reed on that one. Hey, a couple quick announcements at the end of this thing. First, next Thursday, um, that would probably be the 18th, I think. Um, I'm going to have Melody Meyer do a master class. She's a expert on online marketing type things and she's gonna, she's got six different programs that you're going to be able to institute in your school to make money uh, while we're getting back opened and utilizing uh, the online systems that are out there so don't miss that there'll be a uh, information at the end of the the deal um and i gotta think about the other one. and this is always a special week for our Cause Talk video of the, this week, we're going to have none other but the legend himself, Chief Master Bill Clark. You don't want to miss this. Get a cup of coffee, sit down, get your friends. And every year at Cause Talks, he, he gets a standing ovation. People just absolutely hang on every word he says. He's not your standard uh, speaker. He speaks his mind. Uh, whether you want to agree with it or not, that uh, does not matter one iota to him, which makes it very honest and uh, and and fun to listen to him. But it's also extremely educational. So you're going to want to tune. I'll send it out probably Friday or Saturday. You have the weekend to watch it. So once again, we're. Um, I hope everybody keeps moving forward. Love all of you. Keep kicking. Randy Reed, over and out.